Sensor scan to one half parsec. On screen. Weapons or advance. It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You're wasting your energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. Watch how I saw it. Now, it's gone completely. Engage. Hello, and welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. That got awful noise, I'm assuming, was Scarecrow. At the most inconvenient yeah. time. It's what he does. It's why, it's why we never let him worse. on board anymore. We just leave him outside the ship in a spacesuit every time we do a podcast. Finally let him in, he lasts less than a minute before screwing everything up. Congratulations. You beat my record. How do you feel? Are you sure about that, Bax? Yeah, you haven't even managed to make it through the opening sequence sometimes. Shut up. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. This is special number four. Captain America Civil War. Australia got it first. Ha ha, America. Had to say it. (laughs) It's a movie starring... Oh, the UK has it as well. Yeah. Seriously, it's a movie starring the main character's name is America. And they get it last. So. Ha 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 ha. But it's actually fairly typical for us to get the Marvel movies early, so. Anyway, moving right along. Let's kick it off with Stuart's here. Hello. Amy's here. Hello. And... The Long Dead and Forgotten, and then Dead Again, and then Forgotten Again, Scarecrow has returned. Yeah, it's apparently a lot easier for me to make it to the podcast if it's in the afternoon. Don't blame me. Blame EJ. He's the one that wanted to move it. He said he was going to bring on all these awesome guests, and then failed. Epically. So, anyway. That's one way to put it. (laughs) Yeah, randomly bitching aside, moving right along. We are going to do a spoiler-free review of Captain America Civil War. So, Stuart, kick it off. What did you think? It was... Uh, well, I wouldn't say it was... It was great, actually. I wouldn't say it was fantastic. For me, if uh, there was a couple of things that felt off in it. Yeah. Like, vision and skill. It felt like they were trying to push like a Vision and Scarlet Witch relationship, which is really out of blue. Yeah, but in the uh, comics they got married, so yeah, I know. Still, it just didn't feel right in this in the scheme of the movie. No. Kind of like how like it felt more like a father daughter relationship to me. No, no, that was flirting. <laughs> you could legit see flirting. Yeah, you could legit see flirting from one side. That robot. Is set to vibrate. Just saying. Oh. Well, what do you expect? Stark built it. <laughs> <laughs> that is a, a, a hilarious point. But I will agree. <laughs> no, um. I wasn't going to say anything, but thanks, <laughs> Val. Uh, so, anyway. So, yeah. yeah. Um, overall, really just a great movie. Uh, kind of. S- Sad they didn't follow the comics, but I can understand why. Yeah. Yeah. Budget. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll explain what he means when we get to the spoiler section, but before then, yeah, it's. And Tom Holland is a fantastic Spider Man. Oh, yeah. As we said, oh, Ben goodness. Affleck will go down as a really good Batman. Tom is going to go down Tom as a Hol- really good Spider Man. Tom Holland might be the best Spider Man we've had on screen. Yeah. And that's probably because it's been done by Marvel. <laughs> Sorry, Andrew Garfield. Yeah. Hey, at least, oh, he, at least they... he didn't do the dance strut. Just saying. No dance strut. <laughs> uh, at least Garfield did better than... What's his name? Maguire. Yeah. Oh, that was a funny comment I made in the movie with um the evil psychologist dude. Yeah. Oh, I, I whispered to Johnny, Sorry, he looks like an evil Toby Maguire. <laughs> Uh, so, well, again, we'll, we'll cover Evil Psychologist Guy later on. Let's remember, this is as yeah. spoiler-free as possible, so. so. It was funny, someone fell asleep in, like, the first two seconds of the movie. 
fuck yeah, did sitting you right behind us. How the fuck? Our did... cinema was pretty much empty. Yeah, so was mine. There was see, only a gold couple class. of dozen people in there. Yeah, but see, a couple of dozen people in gold class is all of gold class. Yeah, true. Yeah, but no one fell asleep. We had about six people in our cinema. This guy just knocked up. His, the one we were in had the uh, raisable um, petitions between the chairs. Yeah. He just knocked a whole pile of them up and then just stretched out on the on it and fell asleep for about 45 minutes to an hour. Until stuff started going boom, he was out of it. Wow. Oh. And he snored. <laughs> yeah. Did he attempt to throw see, popcorn at him? If... I would have thrown popcorn at him. No, no, no. See, what I would have done is... What I would we have done is put watching. ice down his pants. We were actually too busy watching to really give a shit. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, how would I how would I review this? Okay. This movie is. Hmm. Put it. Okay. How? Do, this movie is how they needed to do Civil War. There's very few things in this movie that I would change, overall. Spider-Man was spectacular. The way they included him felt relatively natural. He didn't feel forced in. Same with Black Panther. Black Panther didn't feel forced. That was the two big concerns I had going into this movie, was that they would feel weird and out of place in this movie. If anything, Ant-Man felt more forced in than um, those two. Wasn't he technically, though? It, it, it might, might have slightly again spoiler free. Um, <laughs> cover, we'll cover that when we get to the spoiler section. Um, overall, this movie was really good. It had its moments where it was sort of slow and serious. It had good proper sort of in Batman versus Superman. There wasn't really much explanation as to the the politics of the scenario. What was what was happening? It was sort of a one politician sort of looked like they were going after Superman because he destroyed a city, understandably, um, while trying to save the world. And in this, it was a very similar sort of setup. The politicians have gone, yeah, you know what, we're sick of all this destruction. In the past 20 years or so, there's been an exponential increase in the number of, the amount of crazy shit that's happened. We need to sort of put a, try and work out what the hell's going on and sort it all out. And, um, yeah, they I did a really like good the... job of it. Yes, real well. Yeah. You, did, you don't follow our law, you get thrown to jail. Yeah. So, that, um, and the really good thing is that, um, how do I, I'm, I'm still trying to think of ways to put it into words without totally ruining the movie. Ah. <laughs> uh, not easy, is it? No, it's really not. And considering I just had a full day at work to think about it, and I'm absolutely tired and three quarters of sleep right now, I think I'm doing pretty good. Um, yeah. It was... It immediately became part of my top five uh, Marvel movies. It was then bumped to place number six when I remembered Deadpool. <laughs> but, yeah. So, so it goes original Avengers. I'm curious what you have in your top five now. Original Avengers, original Iron Man, Deadpool, yep, yep, Captain America two, Thor two, Captain America three, Ant Man. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where's God? Um, no, 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 blah, blah. Sorry, no, 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 no. I have to disagree. You. You forgot the Guardian. You forgot oh. to put Guardians of the Galaxy oh, in. Oh, Guardians of the Galaxy. God damn it, I forgot another one. Okay. That is what I'm saying. <laughs> you, you, your list is instantly disqualified. God damn it. Okay. So, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Ka-ching! Add it in. Big Hero 6. Ka-ching! Add it in. Okay. Oh, yeah, that is Big Hero 6 Marvel. Marvel. Riff, riff. Yes, it is. It's Marvel Comics. Yes, it's it is. It's Marvel, Marvel Comics. It's part, it's Does part, it, it's technically is it part not, of the MCU? No. Neither is Deadpool. But Deadpool's on the list. Deadpool? It's, it's, I Deadpool said, can make it in the MCU, though. I said Marvel movies. I did, well, didn't say Marvel cinematic movies. I said Marvel movies. Okay, revising the list. Okay, revising again. Right now, as it's happening. Avengers. The first Avengers movie. Then, the original Iron Man. Then, Deadpool. Then, Guardians. Then, Captain America 2. Thor 2. Cap 3. 
um, Ant Man. Wait, and... wait, hang on. You really have Civil War over over Dark? Um, un, uh, like you have Dark World over Civil War? Yeah, I really enjoyed that movie. Oh, huh, okay. That said, my my view of Civil War could be slightly skewed from the fact that I was at Brown's Plain Cinema on seats that are about as comfortable as a tree stump <laughs> with a nail poking out of it if they can afford the nail. <laughs> So yeah, it was. I was, as I said, I plan on watching it a second time, but I ran out of. I plan on watching it a second time in VMAX, so I'd actually have a good seat. Because the ticket I bought, I thought was for V was for because they've got put it this way, they've only got one shit cinema at Browns Plains. They've got VMAX and they've got the two cinemas they refit to be really comfy, and then they've got one of them which has been around since the nineties. So I figured the first showing of Captain America. Would be at one of the either one of the two good cinemas. I had a one in three chance of getting a good of getting the shit cinema. They put it in the shit cinema. I'm like, what the hell? So, but yeah, I still think it's a Who's really crinkling? good movie. When I watch it, yes. Who is crinkling? Scarecrow. Not me. Not me. <laughs> Scarecrow. I'm looking at you. I can see who's making noise through the Skype, and it's your line. <laughs> Busted. Out the airlock you yeah. go. Oi. But it's really funny. We went and bought food in that um, to eat during the movies. <laughs> Guess how much we got eaten of it? None. Pretty yeah. much. I See, there were so many ads of mine. I ate all of mine before the movie started. But we sat down. We got comfortable. We made sure the guy a... behind you had a blanket. Oh. Uh, we had up, we had our hot food, and then when, before even we got to the point where we were going to dish out the snacks and everything, the movie got good, and the food fell to the wayside. So did the drinks. Oh, my drink didn't. So, Yours yeah. didn't. I did. Yeah, but anyway, um, so overall, out of ten, most of the Marvel movies, all of my top five are at least nines out of ten. Um, so. Like Avengers is still for me a nine point five. It's the highest ranking I've ever given a movie. This one had everything that was needed to be up in that top ten. It's that's why it's in the top ten. It came very close to being top five. The only thing that stopped it was probably the shitty seats I was in at the cinema. Um, that's not that's ten quite, as for the movie. I know, but it's part of the experience, and if part of the experience is me constantly having to wiggle my ass around. To try and get comfortable for half the fucking movie, then it's gonna drag away from the movie. I'm sorry. So, I plan on watching it again. So be warned. This my score will definitely change after I watch it a second and third, a fourth and a fifth and a sixth time. That's <laughs> generally how it works for me. I've got to watch movies multiple times. I can't help it. Um. So, right now I'm giving I... it a solid nine, which is why it sits just below the others. A lot of the others are sort of the the Dark World is nine point one, and um, Civ Captain America two was nine point three, and the other ones are nine point four with Avengers being nine point five. So yeah, mine's about nine. I they. I can't say what we're going to say because it'd be a spoiler. So I'll wait until it's spoil a bit. Yeah. The so. reason it's a nine. <sighs> Can we just speed this up, guys? Or well, I'm not even going to get to the spoiler bit. Yes. Yeah, yeah we, we're, we're just about to start the spoiler bit. So once we everyone gives their out of ten rating, we'll start the spoiler bit. I'll give it a solid 8.5. 8.5? Let's do it. Yeah, I'm going 8.5 as well. 8.5? You guys suck. If it was, if I gave it an 8.5, it would be about 11 on my list. It was still a fantastic movie. It's it just miles and miles above the Hulk and, and any of the other Iron Man movies. Oh yeah, this was definitely Iron Man 4. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, okay. Time to roll on to the spoiler section. So, as of from now, no, but full spoilers are uh, up in the wind. I'm going to let Scarecrow take the net to start off with because he's got to go early um, and get ready for work. So, he'll, he gets to go first, talk about his favourite parts, and then we'll take over once he's done. So, 
Go for it. Uh, honestly, I'd like to say most of the movie was my favourite parts, especially the giant-sized Ant-Man. Which was ruined to me by <laughs> because of Lego, because fuck you, Lego. Yep. Um, then Ant-Man being taken down by Spidey's reenactment of <laughs> the Land Speeders versus AT-ATs. In that really old movie. I've been playing it the last couple of nights. In that really <laughs> old movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh man I love it he goes, he goes have you guys seen that really old movie Empire Strikes movie. Back I'm oh, like wow <laughs> I had my jaw dropped I was just like no <laughs> was 80 okay I guess it is how, wow. old, how old is this guy <laughs> <laughs> to be fair Empire Strikes Back is 35 years old so well when he went when Ant-Man went big and Iron Man just sort of like he's just like what the hell is going on? Yeah, everyone Does else anyone... was like, what? Does anyone <laughs> yeah, have like, any hidden abilities? Any that we don't know Does about? anyone have any hidden hidden and awesome abilities that would come in handy right about now? It would be This would be a great time to admit them. <laughs> I, I love how they pick up um, how Cap... how Cap's team came about. Yeah. Yeah, it. Oh, oh yeah, abducting Scarlet Witch. <laughs> mm. Oh, and here's one other thing that. Which can only really be said in the spoiler section. Is the fact that there was this massive amount of hype all through the lead up to this as to which team will win. <laughs> and I love their honest to God answer to it. No, no one, one wins, everyone loses. Exactly. Yeah. Which we sort uh, except, of expected no, was going to be the outcome loses. anyway. Everyone loses. One person doesn't lose. That douchebag who orchestrated the whole damn thing. And I can honestly agree with how he acted because in the situation that he wound up in, I'd probably do the same. Yeah. So, well, like one of the biggest things when we won't mention the... Um, we won't mention the Iron Man's motivation connection at the end. Um, what oh, they needed some reason. They needed a reason for the massive shit fight. Yeah, they did to happen. They did, but we're not going to mention what it is. We're going to leave that as because we always leave the one key event as untold in all of our like... even spoiler filled sections, and that's going to be the one thing we leave alone. Is that end? Is that that end? Sort of that trigger. So. Oh, I so love what the guy did to the ex- other super soldiers. Yeah, just just yeah. shot him in the head while they were asleep. Yeah, it was really... We did not need another five of them running around. No. Having Bucky and Cap is enough. Yeah. So. Not to mention, what happened, I did like how Bucky lost his arm. Oh yeah, that was pretty cool. Rule number one. Do not fuck around with the arc reactors in the Iron Tech suits. The guys driving them generally get a little bit pissy if you're trying to rip them out and will and have a tendency to blast your arms off. Yeah. Well, back... back to don't the... forget, the repulsors are fairly potent normally. Yeah. But that is a direct... Link. Cha- directly linked beam weapon mounted directly on top of the reactor. The power it can pump through there is insane. Oh, yeah. That's his, that's his big one. His finisher. That's the Omnibeam. You do not screw with the Omnibeam. Oh, yeah. So, let's go back to the... Um, uh. Let's go back to the, the fight at the airport. Um, now, the, the setup for this fight is that uh, they find the Winter Soldier. They capture the Winter Soldier with the help of Black Panther. Now, credit where credit's due, Black Panther is a beast in this movie. An absolute beast. Like he, he can go toe-to-toe <laughs> with Captain America and Bucky at the same time. Like, I also love that they suits made out of vibranium. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, I wasn't sure if they were going to... I knew the cores were going to do, but I wasn't sure if they were going to do the, the actual rest of the outfit. So. Yeah, so... The but it whole... seems really light. Yeah. They've done it. They've done it really well. Black Panther, even in the comics, was a complete total badass. 
He was pretty much one of the few characters in the Marvel Universe you don't want to screw with. Yeah. So, anyway, let's... I mean, Doom tries and winds up getting his ass handed to him on a platter. Yeah. That's so... Doom in the comic. He's not much... He's not much... Be- not much below Thanos. Yeah. So, anyway, um... The, the movie sort of kicks off doing backstory. Back in 1991, Winter Soldier was sent off on a mission and they used a code book to sort of activate the programming which would make him do a thing. Um... And whatever they say. Yeah, it would, what, it would they activate they the say. brainwashing. Yeah, activate sort of the brainwashing and he can do whatever the hell he wants. Um, so it sort of sets that up and it shows him running a car off the road and stealing some blue goop out of the boot. Um, from there... But we don't, we don't see who was in the car. Yeah, you don't, you don't see There's who's... There's no identifying marks on yeah, it either. You, you have no idea who's in the car, what's to do with it, or anything like that. Um, then jump forward back to effectively now um the team cap is sitting around a t- sorry the the current avengers are sitting around a table discussing sort of the sokovia accords and oh no sorry i jump forward and it's iron man talking about his parents and the last day that he saw them using a holotech to sort of recreate that and he's like it cost me 800 million dollars to develop this so all of you mit students out there i've covered all of the and, and that's just for this sort of silly thing. And if money's unlimited, then you can do whatever the hell you want. So guess what? All of you guys, all of your stuff is fully funded. Woo! And, and then, Pepper was meant to be there. and Yeah. There is, what? <laughs> yeah. So Pepper was meant to be there, but that apparently Iron Man sense. and... The, yeah. What? Because they were happy at the end of Iron Man... Oh, at the end of everything, so... Yeah. yeah. So something had to have happened like, between... Ultron and Civil War. I think the no. Ultron was the incident. Because I he don't, blew actually. up he blew up all these suits at the end of three, which takes place before Ultron. And she isn't mentioned in Ultron, I don't think. Was she? No, she is mentioned. She is? She at the very end. She she had a little quick appearance for about thirty seconds. Okay. Now I think they've just used the we're taking a break line as an excuse to explain why they couldn't get Paltrow for this movie. Yeah. Mainly because I think she's in, heavily involved in the um, Tim Burton movie that's come... For the second um, Alice in Wonderland Yeah, that movie makes come. sense. That makes sense. Wait, she's so an Alice? Couldn't get her. Pretty sure of it. There's a character in there that looks just like her. You mean the white... You mean the white... Um, mm-hmm. The white queen? No, that, mm-hmm. that's not That's not Gwyneth. That's, um, that's Anna Hathaway. Well, there's a character in there I have saw multiple times on the shorts before the, this one, before we saw Civil War. Stuart? And it's like, it looks really... Yeah, looking up now. Stuart, do the IMDB thing. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, anyway, they sort of explain that she's not there because they're on sort of a downswing, and then he um, gets... He runs into a lady that was... The son was at Sokovia when Sokovia was devastated. And he was killed, and she gives him his photo in a really sort of upset way. And you can see that he was already sort of very heavily stressed about that whole scenario, and he's been trying to make amends by giving away millions and millions and millions of dollars left, right, and center to try and sort of make up for all of the deaths, all of the destruction, all of that stuff. It weighs very heavily on him. Um, whereas with Captain America, Captain America wears that weight a lot better jumps forward to Captain America sitting around a table having a chat to everybody. They're talking about Sokovia and all that sort of stuff. And that's when the general walks in and gives them the Sokovia Accord. And it's like, look, this is what this is what's happening. You guys need to work out what side of this you're going to be on. Are you going to agree to it? Or are you going to sort of stand against it? If you stand against it, you're retired. You're done. You don't get to you're do what criminal. you do anymore. And if you do it, you're a criminal. Um... So, Captain America, Black Widow, and a few others all agree, uh, sort of agree to it, and a heap, like, Captain America and a, the, sort of, the Team Cap don't. They're sort of like, no, it's, <laughs> and it's, it, Cap actually has a fairly decent sort of point, um, that they fought for their freedoms, and by signing this, they're giving all their freedoms away. And that is, while it's a good point, 
if you want to help people, you do need sort of rules and regulations. The military, the American military has rules that they occasionally follow. Bad example. Well, the, one of the major reasons why it came about besides um, of all the deaths all the deaths is because of the last situation they were in they accidentally um, guy was trying to self-destruct himself and Scarlet Witch oh that's right that whole battle I skipped over the whole battle M- yeah. yeah you did my bad so anyway we we see cross okay sorry skipping back to if I skip over something please remind me um nah so- it's all fun to do it later yeah <laughs> I hate you guys so much so very much you don't let me get a word in half the time. Yeah, what Scarecrow just did. Robot voice. <laughs> what the hell was that? was that? just breathing deeply, dude. <laughs> so, anyway. Anyway. Um, so, we, we have that big fight scene, which we see in the trailer, where the um, crossbones and a bunch of militia um, in a town trying to take out this this facility to stick the what is it? it's like a it's a medical research they're facility bio, or something yeah, they're, they're looking for the, bio they're after a bioweapon basically and so they rock up they jump out they start kicking they start kicking us and they break in crossbones and a bunch of goons um random goons so then captain america and that step in to stop them and eventually, for after a long sort of hilarious battle of shit being destroyed and kick-ass fight scenes and Scarlet Witch being like major OP, um, Crossbones and three other goons escape. They chase it with the little Falcon drone, and they crash and abandon the car into the crowd, hoping to lose them in the crowd. So they then split up with. Um, it was, it's, it was, Black Widow went after one group, and Falcon went after one group, and Cap was effectively splitting the difference to try and sort of make it, to try and catch up to one of the two groups. So, Falcon catches up to them, kicks their ass, realises that they don't have it. No, Scarlet Witch catch it. Who was it who caught up first, Scarlet Witch? Not Scarlet Witch, Black Widow. Was it Black yeah. Widow? Yeah. Yeah, I think- Black yeah, Widow. Black Widow caught up first, kicked their asses, said it's not here, and then it um, cut to the other guys that were fighting. I could have sworn... Fa- no, pretty sure Falcon. Anyway, the point is, one of the two groups was caught and taken out, um, and the other group was revealed to have the weapon, um, and which they managed to sort of save. Actually, I'm pretty sure Scarlet Witch... The, sorry... It was Black Widow that did it because one of the, I think it was one of them got shot from the side, dropped it, and, and Black Widow did the bullshit Catchy. reflexes and caught it. Um, and Cap caught up to the other guys, and Crossbones jumped him, started fighting him, and then after Cap managed to take Crossbones down, um, he. Crossbones mentioned Bucky, and Cap was just to- immediately off his game. As soon as Bucky was mentioned, Cap lost focus, he lost situational awareness, and Crossbones had the advantage, and he said, we're both going to hell now. Pressed a button on a to suicide jacket. Scarlet Witch caught the blast with her red magic-y stuff, and tried to move him up and away from as many people as possible, the problem is that he's the explosion was so powerful that eventually overpowered her magic y ready glowy stuff and blew up a large chunk of the building above them. This isn't the UN building, that, that happens later. But this is just a random civilian building and it toasts about a half dozen levels, a fairly decent area of it. And one of those levels just happened to have a, a peace delegation from Wakanda trying to repair some of the damage that's been caused by them in the past and their isolationist tactics. Yeah, pretty much. It um, is basically the old Ah, yeah. Fuck. And that's effectively the trigger for the Sokovia Accords. It's like, yeah, now we're done with we're done with these heroes running amok through wherever the hell they want to. Um, 
and that was the trigger for the Sokovia Accord. So that's jumped forward. Now they're at the coffee table having a chat about all the different things. Scarlet Witch is really upset about it because, like, she was quite heavily traumatized by the guy blowing up She's... and her trying to save as many people as she could and failing. She was really broken up by that. She's blaming herself for the whole mess. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and so when the general from the Hulk maybe rocks up and starts sort of handing out the Sokovia Accords with Stark, Stark's like, look, this thing's getting signed. It's a, it's a, it's happening. I'm signing onto it. War Machine's signing onto it. I can't... What is that? Black that Widow's phone. agrees. So, if, if, if you were, Black Widow agrees to sign on to it, um, and ev- and Vision agrees to sign on to it, and everyone else is like, eh, I don't think so. Um, and he's like, look, if you don't, you, you're retired. You, you can't sort of do this. And they have a fairly decent sort of in-depth ideological discussion, which is what Super Batman vs. Superman didn't have. They never had that sort of in-depth look at the consequences each way. Um, and this they really do do that in this and then it jumps forward to the un delegation where they're signing it and that's when you see the un getting bombed and that kills the the black panther's father and black panther's father blames bucky because they've got video of bucky setting the explosion um despite the fact that bucky was in another country at the time yeah pretty much but the point is that they've got video of bucky setting the explosion so um, all of the eye, world, eyes of the world turn to look for Bucky and eventually um, he is found. When he is found, Captain America dives in after him, Black Panther is there, dives in after him, um, and it's a big sort of shit fight to try and ca- see who will catch him first. And that's when you get the chase between Black Panther and and Captain America in the tunnel. Um, and that battle ends with War Machine landing and just being like, look, you guys are coming in. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about this. And then Black Panther You just takes... fucked up and made things worse. Yeah. And Black Panther... It's time ta- to come in. Black Panther takes his mask off and he's like, um, your highness? What the? It's like, ah, oh, shit. Diplomatic immunity. Pretty much, yeah. Um, anyway, so that's when... So Bucky and Cap get arrested at that point. And that's where you see all their weapons being confiscated and taken away. Um, I'm pretty sure Falcon is involved Yeah, they get Falcon at the same time as well. Yeah, Falcon's involved in that and he gets arrested as well. Um, they... yeah, I love what they call his outfit. Bird suit. <laughs> it's like, bird suit? Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't name it. Bird costume is what they call it. Oh, that's right. Bird, yeah, bird costume. Bird costume. Uh, so, um, they're in... Um, they're not necessarily in lockup, but they're in timeout, would be a better way of putting it. Bucky is in lockup. They've been... Bucky Bucky's is, in lockup. Bucky's, Bucky's in the brig. Oh, yeah. No, Bucky isn't in the brig. Bucky's in the brig of a German porno. He is bolted down in so many random ways. <laughs> but... And then put in a glass tank. And then put in a glass tank, which is reinforced like three times over, and then put deep underground in a vault room looking place. And then a UN psychologist comes in and just. Supposedly. As... Yeah, but I haven't got that far. We're telling a story here. We're trying to tell it as truth as possible. That's why I'm leaving out specific details we learn later. Um, so this UN psychologist comes in, and then an EMP bomb detonates, takes out all the power. At which point he reads out of the Red Book of Redness, um, which activates Bucky's programming, gives him, giving him a mission, and Bucky breaks out of the box thing that he's in while this guy's trying to, stop trying to, to try and stop him, um, but he's too late. This guy's like, "Tell me about this mission," and um, the mission reference from the very beginning of the movie where the car crashes. And Bucky tells him about these super soldiers that were the equivalent of Captain America, but there was five of them. He's like, I'm, he reveals that he's not the only Winter Soldier. There's actually sort of five. And um, so... There's six of them now. Yeah. So 
um, I can't remember exactly how they escape, but I, but I remember that I'm pretty sure during this clusterfuck, Captain America, Bucky, and um, they all sort of manage to squirrel away and and whatnot and disappear, and they use a Volkswagen Beetle as a getaway car. My response to that was, "Wow, it's hidden." Yeah, it's not budget. Yeah, if I was gonna say, if that was a white Volkswagen Beetle with racing stripes and a sunroof, I'd be like, "Holy shit, Herbie just became MCU canon." <laughs> so, anyway, um, so yeah, they they're cruising around in that, and Carter, uh, that's oh, that's right. Carter died. The Sharon Carter from the original Captain America movie died. Peggy passes, Carter. Peggy Carter passes away um, from old age in her sleep. And um, the daughter, who is Agent 99? Granddaughter. Uh, niece. Niece. The niece. Niece. Sorry. Niece. Um, who's. She's Agent like 66 or 99 or 19 or something. And she was the one that was watching over Cap when during his recovery. Yeah, Just leave exactly. It at that. She she was the one that was living in the the unit straight across the hall from him while he was in during the Winter Soldier. The nurse that was hitting on him. Yeah, her. Um, He's not complaining. So she <laughs> rock, hell no. She rocks up with all of their kids. He's kissed two Carters now. Yeah, yeah, pretty he much. He likes Carters. Giggity. Don't, don't let me. Of, don't introduce him to Sam. I was about to say, <laughs> say Sam. Sam. Keep him Sam. away from the Stargate. Keep him away from the Stargate. Anil versus Captain America. Oh my god, deadliest fandom. That is perfect. Note to self. Anil versus Captain America. Prize. Winner gets oh, Carter. Oh, there goes the planet. <laughs> <laughs> Winner gets Carter. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. O'Neill cheats. Yeah. Plain and simple. O'Neill will cheat. Oh yeah, he'll use like a he'll use this giant ass staff cannon. Just whack. It'll be something or another, and then he'll just go, okay. nah, screw this, zat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, Vibranium does sort of conduct electricity. You just zat at the shield, and it's... Yeah, yeah it's not an issue anymore, is it? So, anyway, back on, back on, <laughs> back on to somewhere near the topic. Um, she rocks up, topic? gives him all of the, the weapons and stuff, and so that they can... Um, make their escape, and he's, that's when they sort of all team up and the big airport battle happens. Now, I want to spend a little bit of time on the airport battle, because... Actually, wait, wait, wait. Before we get to that... Yep. Unfortunately, this is where I... So... Yeah, uh, well, I was going to say, do we want to talk about Spidey? How they found, got Spidey? Yeah, we could talk about Spidey, real quick. Yeah, unfortunately, guys, this is my time to clock out. I've got to go get ready for work now. Uh, yep. Catch you later. Bye. See you guys. So, Have fun. Um, th- th- at this point, um, we s- it sort of had the, the moment where um, C- Bucky tells Captain America about all the other super soldiers and stuff, and Captain America says to Falcon, who's there, look, we're going to need some more help, and Falcon's like, I might have a couple of ideas about that. And then it cuts to Iron Man talking to Black Widow, having a very similar conversation, like, look, we're going to need a bit of help to bring these guys in. It's, we, we can't just sort of... Like, it's going to end badly one way or another. Um, and then it cuts to her hinting at getting Black Panther to join them, and Tony Stark's like, I've got an idea for another one. And it cuts to Brooklyn. Now, seriously, do you, I just want to say this. Why the fuck does the words have to be 30 foot goddamn tall? Like, seriously. <laughs> And most movies have a tiny little text at the bottom of the screen that's like, Brooklyn. And it's like, ah, it's Brooklyn. Big establishing site. This one looks like an ad for Brooklyn. The words are the size of the screen. It's like, Brooklyn! We're here! It's like, whoa, Queens whoa. Down. Uh, Queens. It's like, whoa, dial it down. Dial it down, guys. But every, every time they jump to a new location, it has the massive title-sized sort of Hollywood sign words for whatever location it is. So it, Spidey comes home from school and Tony Stark is sitting in the lounge room talking to Aunt May. Or well, chatting her up. Chatting her up, bit of both. Um, <laughs> and it's like, oh, you he's sort of like, yeah, I was just telling your aunt how you won the grant. And he's like, the, 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 oh, grant. the grant? grant? Oh, that grant! Yeah! Sure! Does the worst lying I've ever seen. 
Um, and he's like, I'm just going to go talk to your son in the bedroom. Seriously, if a grown man says to you, I'm going to go talk to your teenage son in the bedroom privately about something? Yeah, no. Yeah, be worried. Just, 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 just no. You don't just go, oh, yeah, it's Tony Stark. Peter could, to be fair, Peter could, would win. Peter would win, yes. But she doesn't know that. As far as she knows, he, her innocent 12, 13, 14, whatever the hell old he's meant to be, ish son. Um, uh, no, it's not son. No, t- nephew. Nephew has a grown man randomly walk into his room to talk about sciencey things. <laughs> like, seriously, the only thing we're missing is for Tony Stark to be Batman. And if Batman does that, nope. Batman walks up and goes, oh, oh, Batman, I want to talk to your talk to your nephew in there. It's like, yeah, he's a little bit young to be hanging out with you. Just go the fuck away. <laughs> it's like, we, I know what your history in boys is. Just saying. I know you're not Catholic, uh, but I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, look, go leaving that alone. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so it goes in his room, and, and, and Tony already knows. And... Tony lets him know that he knows, and he just plays dumb. And at which point, the Tony brings up video and projects video of him doing spider man stuff, like swinging around and stuff like that. And we find out that he's had the abilities for about six months, and, um... The fucking I like the, cost- fact of- the costume in the roof! <laughs> I like the fact of, um, Tony oh, the, on yeah, the, Spidey the back his the computer. The costume. Oh, that and old... And the computer. The computer? Yeah. Man, that computer's older than me. <laughs> it was like an original Mac and it still worked. Like, original, original Mac. Like, boxy Mac, like monitor... 80, like, 70s. No, no, not 70s. It's like, mid-80s. 80s. Mid-80s Mac. But, yeah, it's like, what the hell? Um, so, yeah, he's like, oh, yeah, I found it dumpster diving. It's like, what the shit? Um, so, it convinces him to come with them and makes him a suit. Um, he needed one. Yeah. So the, the, it's, it's actually a really, really good scene. It's one of my favourite scenes of that movie, of the movie, is those two interacting. So anyway, jump forward to the airport scene. They've got... Um, oh yeah, that's right. Scarlet Witch fights Vision before the airport scene. Um, and Scarlet Witch pins Vision with her magic and then melts him through the ground and just like pushes him down through the ground off towards infinity somewhere. Um, so we, we, God, we're going to have to move on. We've got like 15 minutes left. <laughs> Bloody hell. Um, so, big massive airport battle. Man, that was awesome. <laughs> I, Spidey talks way too much. Yeah. I was just going... <laughs> I know sp- the whole way through I the lo- no, I love, I love that. Because, to me, He's that, that is the, He's that is the alter... No, no. no. The whole thing of just him talking is the ultimate Spider-Man TV show brought into the movies. That's yeah. what that version is. Yeah, it's his. High, it was based when he was in high school, and he's like, in because it's an anime TV show, and in it he like breaks the fourth wall. Sadly, they don't do that, but like he talks a lot in it. So yeah. to see him doing all the talking like makes me so happy. And yeah, he t- but he was fanboying. Yeah, and Stark was ready to face palm a lot with that. Oh yeah, Stark <laughs> was pretty much fed up with him. At that point, he's, that's why when at the end of the battle, it's like, no, you're going home. I'm, I'm sort of done with day. I'm not daycare anymore. I'm done. Just goodbye. Um, then, then so we have the big battle, and everyone gets arrested. Everyone except, except Spider Man. Everyone except for Spider Man. Oh, that's where we back back up before the end of the battle. Captain America's escaping. Black Widow, as we expected, has turned on. Tony Stark to let Cap and um, Winter Soldier escape in a Quinjet, which Tony yeah. has hacked before, but can't magically hack that one, even though it's it's his. Um, so they they're escaping in that War Machine and Iron Man are chasing them. Falcon is behind them. Vision is on the ground holding Scarlet Witch because War Machine used a knockout on Scarlet Witch, and Vision is visibly upset by the condition that Scarlet Witch is in. Um, so, War Machine shouts out that the the Falcon is chasing them. And... I thought it was needs... um, Tony that did it. Was it Tony? 
I thought it was... No, no. I thought it was War Machine. Yeah, no, it was War Machine. Yeah, War Machine okay. shouts out, um, Vision, we need some cover. This guy's right on our ass. Um, and we need to try and stop this. So Vision turns and uses his head laser, which the Falcon dodges, which annihilates the arc reactor in War Machine. And War Machine immediately loses power because of he falls from the sky, from a fairly decent height in the sky. Um, Falcon and Iron Man both turn and dive to try and catch him and stop Not his fast fall, enough. but they weren't fast enough. It hits the ground ridiculously hard, and even the suit's built-in protection to sort of minimise damage from that isn't enough. And he is ridiculously injured. And that's the scene you see in the trailer with Rhodey on the ground in the war machine gear, just out. Um, and that's how the... And Captain America and Winter Soldier escape. And that's how that battle ends. Um, we then find out that he's got two broken vertebrae or something like that. Like, he's got a lot of really Basically, he can't damage. walk. Yeah, he's got... It's really bad. Bad data with war machine. Um, and jump forward... They're going to the prison, which we see come up out of the ocean. You see Iron Man land in it. And he's like, based on that fiasco at the airport, you're lucky you're not in here, Stark. And he's like, yeah, whatever. Goes around, talks to Falcon, disables the audio of the prison temporarily, gets Falcon to explain Captain America's side because he's got some evidence himself to sort of demonstrate that um, the, the, the bad guy in this movie, Baron something or other, whatever his name is, it was from Sokovia originally. Um, it's actually behind all this bullshit, not Winter, not the Winter Soldier. And that he was actually played the psychologist, he dressed up as Winter Soldier before the bombing and all this sort of stuff. So he goes to the prison to talk to Falcon and he's like, look, I'm on your guy's side. Now, I understand. I I was wrong. And Falcon looks at him and goes, it's almost worth being in here just to hear you say that. Um, it can't be worse than what uh, Hawkeye would actually have done to Tony if he could get to him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hawkeye? Not happy. Um, so, then he disables the audio and escapes in an Iron Man suit and chases off after Captain America. At this point, Captain America has reached the Russian base from the very beginning of the movie. The bad guys in the base has killed all of the other Winter Soldiers and has said, well, guess what? I have a super top secret, 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 top secret that I'm going to keep sort of secret. I'm going to sort of show you guys. Um, Iron Man is sort of just caught up with them and is on their nah, side. we're cutting off here. We are? Yes. Yeah. We're going to reveal the secret. Oh, yeah, we're not going to reveal the secret. We're not We're not revealing the, the trigger event. Um, You're about to. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm being very careful not to. So... Anyway, the the, tr the trigger event happens. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I wasn't going to. I know what I, I know what I'm doing half the time. Um, which debatable. To shut up. Which makes Stark pissed. The general premise for this guy's motivations is: um, you killed all of my family in the Sokovia incident, and the only way to guarantee a kingdom falls is to make it tear itself apart. Because if an outside force tries to tear a kingdom down, it'll rebuild. But if an internal force tears it apart, it'll never rebuild. And that's his strategy to take down the Avengers. And um, so he trigger events the trigger event, which triggers Iron Man to just start wailing on um, Captain America and Bucky. I'm um, won't say why um and so they have their big sort of climactic fight you see from the end you see in the trailer of Bucky and Cap fighting him and eventually resulting in Bucky losing his arm and Captain America breaking the Iron Man suit and leaving Stark effectively trapped in a location that nobody knows he is in <laughs> with a broken Iron Man suit um it somehow gets out yeah, and then, so, Cap disappears, goes off the grid, vanishes, Bucky disappears, goes off the grid, vanishes, 
Um, later on, we see them in Soko- in um, I was going to say Sokovia, but that's not right. Wakanda. In Wakanda. So they're in Wakanda. Bucky's going back on ice there to because um, I forgot to mention, but Black Panther was also up there and learnt the secret and realised that this other guy was really the bad guy and not Winter Soldier. So, but he's squirrels. And then the bad guy tried to commit suicide. Yeah, um, talks him, uh, sort of talks him down, sort of chokes him out, a little bit of both. Um, and he ends up in Bucky's box at the UN prison, wherever the hell that is. And Bucky ends up back on ice in Wakanda with Captain America. And then we see... Um, oh, no, that's the that's the mid credit scene, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Just just before the, the movie ends, um, Iron Man's walking around the Avengers mansion, sort of... <gasps> oh, the Stanley cameo! And, the, <laughs> and then the delivery truck turns up. Because War Machine's trying to walk. He's got a power suit on the lower part of his legs, trying to sort of help him walk again. And... There's a just random delivery Stanley. truck. And it's Stanley in a FedEx truck. Stanley delivering a, a FedEx truck. And, and the name. Oh, yeah. Name. Go on, you know you Tony want to say Stank. it. Tony Stank. Oh, my God. I, I nearly teared up <sighs> laughing when so, I heard that. So Everyone in my cinema just lost it. Oh, yeah. Um... And it, it, even War Machine's like, yeah, that that's that's never that's always gonna be a thing. I'm <laughs> never forgetting this. <sighs> um, and we get a letter from Cap that's like, look, I know this has all gone to shit, but if you need us, call and we will be here. And it cuts to as sort of Stark's reading it, but it's in, it's read by Captain America's voice, but it's implied that Stark's reading the letter. Captain America is at the prison breaking all of the other guys out of that prison um, in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, he and just knocks them all out. It's, yeah, he, just, he doesn't kill anyone, he just knocks them out. And then, effectively, credits. Uh, it actually pops up with um, Captain America, Civil War, and it's like, well, that's the title of the movie. They're, they normally got this front, not at the back. <laughs> saying. Oh... <laughs> Just the whole conversation with the uh, general calling, trying to call Stark. Oh yeah. <laughs> and Stark's like, oh yeah, it, um, we've we've got a very important. Oh yeah, just give me a second. I'll just put you on hold. And he just stares at the blinky light, and then opens the package. <laughs> he was told, "I will put you on hold." I yeah. like watching the blinky light. Yeah. <laughs> so and then credits roll, which the credits are actually done really well. You see the light lighting effects. Making yeah, that uh, was cool. characters, which was the really symbols. cool. The symbols. Yeah, the, sim- the character symbols. Yeah. Um, and then you see cuts to Bucky being put on ice in Black Panther. More credits. And then we have the closing scene, end of credit scene. Stuart, I know you want to. I'll let you have this one too. Yes! So, yeah. Closing uh, the end credit scene, uh, we cut back to uh, Tom. He's uh, just come home. <laughs> uh, we still have no how the he- no how the hell he got home, but he just arrives home. He said he was in a fight. Art May gives him like an ice pack. Then he play- well actually no before that he's playing with his um uh, web spinner and it glows. And there's, um, yeah, there's something underneath it, and it's and it's, and it's like it's show- and it's like it's showing something, and we don't see. And then Art May comes in, gives him the iPad. Then we see what it is. And it hints at the Iron Spider. Oh, yes. And then it says Spider-Man will return. Oh, please. yes. Please, 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 please. Give me an Iron Spider live action. <laughs> I would be so happy. I could... He's Look, Stuart, calm down a little. You, I know you've already blown your load. You're just the thought of this. I can't imagine how long it'll take to clean the cinema up when it actually happens, but Marvel, please, <laughs> make it happen. <laughs> yeah, you look at... I'm sorry, I love... Because I, like, I, I, I was sceptical. I think everyone was kind of thinking, how is Spider going to go and stuff? Because we, oh. we don't know much about um, Tom Holland. Exactly. 
minutes. But Hi. after watching that, you welcome to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, young man. Oh, yes. May your future here be bright until Thanos and then bug spray. <laughs> oh, don't say that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, actually, I'm, well, that was, that was my interesting thing is, is when we're talking, when the credits were wrong, we're thinking, what are they going to do for the credit scene, sir? Yeah. Because we're going through all the different, because we're all going through all the different options. I was like, we're going to see Doctor Strange, or we're going to see something to do with Thor. Like there was yeah. like Guardians, like there's a whole bunch of things that could have happened, and then Spidey happened. Yeah. But you I think about it. I think it would have been good if Ant Man was stuck in Spider Man's web. I wanted to see that. <laughs> Didn't happen. I'm oh. very disappointed. But what do you? Okay, what do you? What do you think he's going to do now that he has that type of watch that Stark's given him? Probably he's sell gone it. for a Mac. Hmm? No, Probably he's sell. gone for a Mac computer. <laughs> It's a holograph watch. Yeah, which is a computer, pretty much. Yeah, it's probably got more processing power in one chip than a room full of those mags. So. <laughs> anyway, Stuart, you, you told me just before the show, there's a little bit over three minutes left, that you had some weird news that you wanted to share. Yeah, I've got some, uh, got some uh, breaking news that happened today. <laughs> uh, NBC Universal has bought out DreamWorks. Wait, what? Yeah, NBC Universal. So um, it's it's NBC, and they also um Universal Studio yeah. Studios has bought DreamWorks oh, for wow. three point eight billion dollars. I didn't know they were for sale. I didn't either. Well, I very highly doubt they were for sale. It was more of a case of, hi CEO, yeah, three point eight billion dollars, and you belong to us. Well, okay, yeah, you done. know what that means. We're now going to see minions and everything in, dra- in dragons and shit. Yay. Oh, yeah. The other big news that broke a couple of days ago is that we have a release date for the Nintendo NX. Ooh. March 17th, 2017. Excellent. Three days after my birthday. You know what to get me for it. <laughs> I don't think so. Worth a try. So, yeah, um, we reported a few months ago that um, Nintendo were ending um, production for the Wii U, so I knew the NX had to have been coming soon because they're stopping production at the end of the year yeah. for the Wii U. So I was like, NX must be close. Yep, next year. Yeah. 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 I think the Wii U is the only current console I don't own. I own a Wii. I don't know if I want to get one now that I know the NX is coming, but I kind of want to get it because Zelda's going to be on the Wii U and the NX, and I love Zelda too much. Yeah. Well, put it... Okay. Just really quickly, back to the movie review. We've got two minutes left. Out of ten, acting. I would would give that a solid (laughs) 9.9. Well, they they all all played their... Rolls perfectly acting wise. Visual I'm effects. It a 10 pack. Visual effects. Uh, 9. nine point five. Nine point five. I'd give it. I'd give. Actually, to me, me the big thing that lost it was the visual effects. And, really? Yeah. Um. Not like the the lion share of it was really good, but the close up shots of vision where you could see the 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 prosthetics that have been put on the actor, they just totally broke me. It really did. And for me, this uh, is the, this is the thing that made the the whole average score drop was just that that sort of the close up shots of vision where it didn't look right as uh, so the only downside to this movie for me, which is why it sits relatively low on the list. And I'll give the visual effects a solid nine. Everything else for me is effectively a nine point nine or a ten. Just the the visual effects. For just for vision specifically, dropped to a nine, which is why the average. I is... love how everyone bags the um, sp- love um, bags the Spider-Man outfit. I thought it was spectacular. I thought it was great. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, that's it. We're out of time. Um, Bye so all. We'll catch you guys later. Bye everyone. Um, and remember, check out Facebook.com/slash/SaveSciFi for your sci-fi related stuff. Facebook.com slash Save Sci-Fi Podcast for your podcast related stuff. Facebook.com slash The Deadliest Fandom um, is the TV show we're working on. It's going to be really great. Facebook.com slash Garrison7 The Movie. 
I think Garrison Seven the movie. It's gonna be great. So we'll catch you later. See you next week. Uh, bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. I can't do anymore. <laughs>